So hello YouTube, I see that you have returned, and I'm guessing that my tutor was good for you to get your intro into iMovie. So far we have already gone through touring the selections, we have looked at how to set our preferences, so you can make sure that your iMovie is set on advanced preferences. This will allow you to get the full advantages out of iMovie 09 on the Mac. You will, we've also made sure that our iMovie 09 is up to date. You want to make sure that the software is up to date because if you have it set on advanced features but it's not up to date, you're not going to be able to follow my tutorial. And how good is that? And then, so after we've made sure that everything's up to date, all of our preferences are advanced, we've already made our folders, as you can see, um, if you look back at our previous videos. And we've uh, made our new project, we've named that project, we've set our theme to make it, you know, a little bit personalized. And we've already shot our video, and if not, We've already imported our video by going to File, Import, and Movies. So now, we are into connecting our videos to produce a movie. Yes, we are pretty far into this already. So if you haven't um, watched our previous videos, I think you should go back so you could get, you know, where we are right now. So, to connect, to connect your video or to pretty much drag your media into this area right over here all you have to do is just mainly click and drag and then from there you'll just click and drag but what if there's a specific point in this video that you just want but you don't want the other parts of the video all you have to do is just do the same exact thing click drag drag you would click on the clip right you could do it anywhere you could do it in the middle you could do it right here you could do it at the end over doesn't matter. You all you have to do is just remember to click, drag. Then from there you would click, drag. So it's click, drag, click, drag. Remember. So now you have all of your clips that you've recorded into your um, project area. Hopefully you'll have more clips than I do, uh, more than my 19 seconds. But um, after you've put that into there, you pretty much have your movie. But Let's say there's a specific area in between the video that you want to add, you know, multimedia or something else. We'll actually go more into how to do it the easier way later in a second, uh, in another video. But for right now, I'll show you another way how to do it. You'll go into a specific area, so you could do it right in the middle, you could do it up to the beginning, you could do it up to the end. Anyway, you would actually click and do the same drag, and then you would go into edit and split clip. There you go. Your clip is split in half. Can you believe that? And don't worry, it does not in any way affect take out or add into your video. It just mainly splits it. So if you were to split this, publish it, people won't even know that it's split. Only only way that they would know a split is if you take away parts of it or if you add in between it to it. So that's how you split the clip. Let's say you messed up and say, ah, oh, did not mean to do that. You have two options. You can either click Command Z, that will undo the, the clip. Um, the split, I'm sorry, or um, we'll actually redo that split for a second. You could actually go into right here where you could highlight the clip, and then here you could click join clip, and there you go. They're back together and they're happy. So, there you go. We've in this video, we've learned how to drag in our specific parts of our video into our multimedia into our media area right over here. So in our next video, we'll go more into, you know, the big and the dirty parts of editing, where we will go into some adjustments, we'll go into inspector, we'll go into also how to convert your clip, which you will find very, very fun and very, very surprising with all of the effects you can add to this video, just by converting it.